your comfort zone. Where, Where exactly? exactly? In Boracay, the Philippines. This is Julie. And Chris. And, and tonight, we are exploring something interesting. We're going on a culinary adventure and we're going to try something very popular here, which is a buffet dinner. Check our content and to see food all around the world, don't forget to subscribe. Won't cost you a thing, we won't spam you, but it will help us very much. This buffet that we chose is around 899 pesos. So we're gonna have a lot of food choices. Stand by to show them to you. No leftovers, okay. Thank you, Jeremy. Thank you so much. So I'm gonna start with squid quesadilla and I put a little bit on top habanero sauce and some olives. So let's see. Yeah, it reminds me of Mexico. It's good. It actually tastes like quesadilla. You can feel the cheese inside. Ah, it's a little bit spicy from the habanero. <laughs> but it's good. Full of flavor. I don't feel the squid. I don't know if it's there. But it's tasty. I like it. The next one is gamba sokonomiyaki. I hope I'm saying it right. It's a calamari gambas. So, kind of like a small pizza, squishy, let's see, okay, it's exactly like a pizza, oh, pickled garlic, nice, I'm gonna try the beef okonomiyaki, is this one? I really hope it's good. It's the first thing I'm trying tonight. Interesting. Ooh. <laughs> you don't like it? It has fish on top. They lied to me. It has fish on top. I ate it all. Next one is the Hawaiian quiche. This actually looks like a quiche. Sounds promising. It's cute. Do you think it has pineapple? Oh. It has pineapple. <laughs> it's like a Hawaiian pizza, but a bit better, I'd say. I also got some salads here. I don't think it had a name, but it looks like it has some ham or something, an onion. This is beef on cucumber, beef steak. I really hope this is good and it doesn't have any fish. Jilly doesn't eat fish or steamer. Flavor. And I have a burrito with some habanero sauce and some chili con carne, so I'm gonna eat them together. Taste of Mexico. The burrito is really good, but the chili con carne, that chili con carne. So how Mexican is a Filipino <laughs> dish? The chili con carne tastes really Mexican. The burrito normally is not this small. Fish taco. Mm. Fishy. <laughs> One of my favorite, pasta station. Yay! 
you can make your own pasta with your any ingredients. You have meat sauce, you have tomato sauce, you have pesto, bechamel. I can't wait to try this. What are you combining here, Julie? I'm going uh, Italian this time. Are you going full Italian? Huh? Pasta, pizza. Yes. I love Italian food. Let's see how Italian is. Pasta. I made a strange combination. It's pretty tasty. I would like to have some salt. This is beef pizza. This is really good. You have to try it. No? no. You take your own. <laughs> we also have the sushi station. In Japanese station, you all have all sorts of uh, sushi. Can't wait to try them, especially the strange ones. Of course I got the sushi. I can't remember all the names, so I'm gonna call them yellow, pink, green, red, and squishy. Let's try the sweet. Ah, let's not forget about the wasabi and the soy sauce. So I'm gonna mix the wasabi with the soy sauce. I don't know if it's the right thing to do. I'm still waiting for someone to teach me how to properly eat sushi and soy sauce and wasabi so until then i'm gonna try it all my own it's just rice i think i don't know okay let's see this one that's yellow the yellow yellow guy i think that was tofu Yellow tofu. There's too much rice in them. Let's go with the uh, pink. Pink guy. I can't feel anything, it's just rice. I'm sorry, the sushi is a no no. Tuna panga. It smells like a smoked fish, so let's see how it tastes like. Okay, it's definitely not smoked, I think. But it's creamy. I think if I get a slice of bread, I can uh, spread it. The next one is steamed fish. I have no idea what fish is, with native sauce. The native sauce seems to be something with soy sauce. The spice is good. It's like the kind of fish you usually have in the soup. That's good. I like it. I like fish. And the last one. The last one is a grilled stuffed squid. It has inside, it has some tomatoes. Some onions, I can see some corn, thing, I think, or maybe some bell peppers. Let's see. Mm. There's a lot of flavors kicking in. This is nice. Let's have a slice of potato. Oh, potato is not boiled enough. This is sisig. It's another traditional Filipino dish. I have to choose what I want and I'm gonna choose a little bit of everything. And then they will make it for me. I just chose a little bit. Okay, a little bit. Let's see how it tastes like. 
while I wait for this to cool down a little bit, let's see what else I got. So this is pork tagalog. Just gonna get a bite, see how it is. Good tasty. A tiny bit sweet, but not tight sweet. So, okay. Beef ribs here. And I hope this is good. Looks I got good. It without the ribs. Without the ribs, without the ribs. Also sweet. Like a stew. This is crispy pork skin. Oily. Is it oily? It's very oily. Very oily. Spicy, tasty, which I like, but it's very oily. It's basically pork fat. This is the dim sum, I think. It says it's with pork. So pork let's see. Okay. Sure eating, right? no this is like a donut. Like what? <clears throat> bread. And it has, it's sweet. I can feel the sugar. Okay, I'm gonna get the soy sauce from the sushi experiment. This is chicken siomai. It looks like a chicken roll. Let's see. Hmm. This is quite good. So it's like a chicken in a can with fish flavor all around interesting and the last one this is the fish pudding I expected it to be empty huh, me too interesting let's see mm. this is quite nice so the fish inside is like a tiny meatball with sauce, full of flavor. I, actually, I don't feel that much the fish flavor, so it's very good. As usual, I picked the strangest thing that I could find. is the crispy chicken intestine. So I, I have never eaten this. Tastes like crispy liver. It's strange. I like biscuits. Do you like it? Biscuits with liver. It's interesting, yeah. We have like a snack. The next one on the list is the crablet. Look at this. 
and I have some tartar sauce. I don't know. You definitely can feel the crab taste, but it's so tiny you eat it whole, you don't have to do anything. Try everything now. I'm starting with the strawberry crab. Mm. Natural strawberry jam. I like that. Okay, not bad. This is a matcha cookie. Try this one. This is how it looks inside. I like that it's crunchy. So it's very creamy at the same time. But it tastes a bit like I don't know if it's cheese or alcohol. And I don't know why I'm having this stuff. And the triple chocolate cake. If I like it, I'm gonna have it all. That cake is really good. And I have the banana caramel. Finally, the raspberry. <laughs> <laughs> I love the middle. It's a real raspberry in there. I still have one. Yay! Hello, guys. We're having a last coffee in information about 9 p.m. Okay, thank you. <laughs> People are Last very friendly here. Yes, they're incredibly friendly, and I love that. <laughs> it's really nice. And I think we've been here for the past two and a half hours, so <laughs> it's only fair. <laughs> okay, the kiwi parfait is really good. It tastes like childhood, and I love it. I have a big food belly right now. I am. What's our honest opinion about going to a buffet? The nice part is that you're on the beach, you can feel the breeze, they have live music, some performances, which is very nice. The food was. okay. Too sweet for my taste, what was supposed to be more savory. But I, I do think there is a lot of variety. They have a lot of things that you can try. I haven't tried everything and I'm still full. Um, and for like $16, I think it's a bargain. What more can you ask, right? Yeah. There are some buffets around the beach that are about 375 pesos, which is half or even less than half the price um, of this one. But the reviews are not great and I understand that they only have like two or three types of dishes and that's it. So yeah, I do think that it's something you should try while you're here. But don't think that you're gonna be in a Michelin star restaurant. I, I do think the food was fairly good, reasonable. Okay, and one tip. So if you're planning to eat at a buffet, you can ask them to show you around the food so please go and check the food before because you're gonna pay an entrance fee you're gonna get the bracelet and if you don't like the food then 
you don't have what else to do. And each restaurant it seems like they have more or less the same thing, but with tiny differences here and there. So make sure that the food is all for your taste, okay? And enjoy! So this was our first culinary buffet experience in the Philippines. Thank you for being with us on this journey, and as always, happy, happy exploring! exploring!